don't treat Memorial Day, particularly here in Spring Lake, as just part of another long weekend, but we ensure that Memorial Day continues to be observed with profound reverence when we are a nation at war, as we are today, or when we can enjoy the benefits of peace, the dream of all the soldiers and their commanders. We commit to gathering together on this day to make it our annual remembrance of the courage and sacrifice of the few that we know and the many thousands that we don't. With our presence here this morning, we say to them, quite simply, we are in your debt and we thank you. Spring Lake remembered the Spring Lake residents who were killed in the wars. James Marshall Brawley, G. Harold Chafee, Wilbur T. Fields, Leon H. Height Jr., John E. Lesher, Herbert J. Miller Jr., R. Lee T. Reno, Peter B. Rexel, James W. Truax, Captain John N. Wiley Jr., and Dominic N. Scatorcio Jr. Do not be afraid to shed tears for those brave souls killed in combat and combat-related actions. Do not forget the thousands of those missing in action and presumed dead. Their fate is the saddest of all, because their families were denied a grave site to visit. We owe it to those who died serving our country to live each day with dignity, purpose, sacrifice, and gratitude. Those who died in combat deserve no less. Dear God, help us to remember today all those who gave the ultimate sacrifice to ensure our freedom. They gave up all their tomorrows so that we could have ours. May God continue to bless this nation and guide us so that we may be a blessing to others. May God bless each of us that our lives may be worthy of and honor those who have died to keep us free. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Please, dear God, give us peace. Amen.